Hi guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today we're gonna play Global Tournament. Yes, I know, I'm late with the Global Tournament, but hey, it's never too late to start. And it's always great to kind of play Global Tournaments at the end of this season. But for now, I have this Golem deck for you guys to try it out. If you wanna try it, it is 4.3. It is currently one of the best Golem decks in the current meta. It is kind of very self-explanatory, you kind of have to wait a little bit until the double elixir pops in, then you play golem in the back and all of your supporting units as well. Hey, if the, your opponent is having a hog deck, wait that your opponent is pushing the hog first and then after his push you play golem in the back, activated the king's tower with tornadoes. As well, if your opponent is playing log bait decks, you need that tornado to activate uh, the King's Tower as well. Hey, always try to keep Electro Dragon on defense, but if your opponent is having Inferno Tower or Tesla, you kind of need to build a big push, monster push with the Golem and Electro Dragon. So we are currently nine games in. And uh, we're gonna see how it's gonna develop. I hope I'm gonna get all of my free rewards and uh, let's see how it's gonna go. Let's start. Good day, Mr. Crispy. Mr. Crisperino. That's a big monster push by him though. Three skeletons, he's a savage. You can add me on Facebook if you want. So he has a Tesla. Good to know. And the firecracker. Get the firecracker. Noise. Okay. Madame Balk. I'm gonna wait until double elixir to play my golem. But we will need Electro Dragon because he has Tesla, right? We have been ready for that. Just gonna play Mega Minion on the on this. And since he played the drill, I can play Golem now. Okay. He okay, really pushed that through. I'm gonna try to snipe it. I was thinking it's gonna go on the golem. Okay. It looks like he is definitely gonna play it safe, right? It's fine. We gotta play another golem. Another one. What is that gonna do? Well, that's that's pretty good for me. I like that. <laughs> what is that gonna do? That was so strange, right? What was he thinking that's gonna do? I'm not sure. Okay, we got the blast. Now we got a pressure to take the tower. I don't know what he wanted to do there. Did he wanted to rotate the golem on the other side? Okay, let's hop into another one. Let's a uh, pre-early tornado so the hog is not gonna hit. And let's chill. Chilling with the golem. Uh, I mean, 
I'm not sure what is he playing, but since he played Hog, he doesn't have another one right now. And that is very high Tesla, so I'm gonna try to snipe it this time that, you know, has some meaning. <clears throat> Baby D. Hey, Matthias, thank you for the follow. Hi, hi, hi. So, another bulk. Another one. What is he doing? These guys are acting very weirdly. <laughs> He, he throw the arrows for nothing. In my humble opinion. Buzz, hi. We're playing global tournament with the golem deck. At least we're trying. To get the free rewards. So, is he gonna push hog? He's not gonna push hog. Okay. So, he does have a Valk, which is not good for us. We're gonna leave it be. We're not in a hurry. Just saying. We are not in a hurry. Okay, we're gonna go golem. We're gonna go... Golem. Gonna try to play the cannon card on this lane. I need tornado, so I can tornado the rascal girl. Like, like this. Okay, let's go more air. I have a feeling more air is the way to go, believe it or not. So, the activation of the King Star is quite crucial for him, but is this gonna be enough? Not yet. It's okay. I believe. We are fine. That's one NATO. I'm gonna cycle to another one. Cycling to another one. So let's try to do exactly that. One here. And that's it, we got the game. Let's go. Okay, two wins for the start. Let's see what Naros is playing for us. Maybe Expo. Something fast, definitely, since he had three skeletons, right? Mm -mm -mm. Bam, 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 bam. Naros is not pushing nothing through. Okay. Now we know. It's a hog deck. I'm gonna play Golem now since he played Hog. It's fine. I mean, 2.6 is not easy matchup. They can cycle and cycle and cycle, and you cannot get too much damage. We gonna see. He has level 8 cards though. But he has a matchup though. Mm. 
Bada 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 bow. Get him. Have a feeling he's kind of go with a hog here. Okay, kind of piss dealing with the. Uh, oh, okay, that's never good. It happens, right? Nothing can be perfect in life. I hope you're gonna sort it out. Is something like very bad? We're gonna try to get him, but not like too much, you know. I'm trying that he's fire bowling. He's currently not doing that. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it be. This deck like has a matchup though, but he has low level cards. Are we gonna go again? Oh, it's connected. Thank you for the follow. Hi. Yeah, I've been playing too. I mean, test. It, believe it or not, when you're playing for a, like, a team, it can be very toxic. <laughs> chess cannot be like... Um, I kind of entered in the chess world because my grandfather was a chess player. He was usually playing with Russians. So he was very, very good. And then he was teaching me how to play chess. On a very young age. I was like seven years old. Seven years old. I had a lot of potential to to, to pursue that career, but I kind of didn't want to do it. I felt tired of it. I felt tired of it. These hogs are really kind of, you know, sus. It, if I miss a, a couple of firecrackers, it's the end of the game, you know? Well, Valk is so strong, brother. Valk is pretty OP. We're gonna go now because firecracker, if he ho goes hog, we have tornado. That was a nice one. Modern chess, throw away troops. Ah, uh, it's a modern kind of chess. Sure. <laughs> hey, Anesibri, thank you for the follow. Hi. I think in chess you also need to like think five, six moves in advance. Depends how much your brain is functioning. How much you can you can think in advance. I'm kind of just gonna get some hits here. They lose that much. They lose calories. I would say my grandfather was one of those guys that were very impressive in chess playing, but he was... He was kind of, you know, practicing with Russians. And that was, that was different kind of practice, I would say. It's very serious. You know what? She's getting on my nerves. Yeah. She's gonna destroy it or three skeletons, right? Very good. Okay, we're leaving this. 
I know it's a lot of damage. We're leaving both sides. I cannot leave this now. I need Firecracker to go down. Can you baby dragon do it? It's okay. Was he skinny? Yeah, my grandfather was skinny actually. <laughs> 80 90, this guy is from a good clan. Shit. I'm just too slow here. Okay. Had nothing. <laughs> Mega Minion would be a better solution there. Okay, you're gonna play safe corner, right? I play the most troll deck ever. Eagle and Battle Healer. Yeah, that that is very toxic. How do you feel? <laughs> How do you feel when you play such a toxic deck? Do you feel good? I hope so. Eagle and Battle Healer is really, really toxic. Yeah, I still think that now the double spawners is more toxic. Hey, help sleep the common Kaiser, we get heute. Feel bad, but gotta do it for the wins. <laughs> you gotta do everything for the wins. Right? Yeah. Okay, he missed. He missed chat. I'm going. That missed opportunity. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. But he has a bomb tower, right? La bomb tower? Probably. Hmm. We got nothing from this. I'm just cannot play much because he is gonna fire both if I do much more, right? He's not defending so much, let's be honest here. It's okay, we're getting damage. We are getting the damage. Uh-oh. Ah! Okay, panic. Panic. Not good. Oh, fireball. Shit. Okay. I gave him a good fireball value. Okay. Golem. We going, guys? Not going anywhere. Why he was not fireballing me when he had a chance? He literally had a very good opportunity. Dragon, you really gonna go for that one goblin? The baby dragon is a really a bugger. Nice, 
this is the moment. We're taking this man down. Believe. Yeah. This is the way. Not yet? <laughs> Finally. Finally we made it, man. We kind of couldn't get through. But it's okay. Constantly playing Tesla. I, I know. The Tesla and the Mega Minion, right? 15 is nicer than 10. Right? Let's wait. Or not. It's gonna be a Mama Pekka. Mama Pekita. Well, uh, I don't know. Is it Mama Pekka or Mega Knight with Ram Rider? Something is with Ma Ram Rider. Gonna find out what exactly is with a Ram Rider. Barbarian Barrel? I hope it's Mega Knight. It will be easier. But somehow I have a feeling it's not. I should tornado it though. It's fine. The Tenshi is very busy. Alyssa is not coming anymore. She was offended by my behavior. Okay, let's see. He's killing that cheapy little damage once in a while. He didn't show me the main card. I think it's Pekka. Hi Krishna. Krishna is also from India, guys. There is a lot of you guys from India. Gonna get damaged now. It's fine. Mm. It's actually a Pekka. Nice! We're gonna mo go more like... If we can, we're gonna push it. Right now. I don't care about that side, my friend. It can go. If I take this side, I'm good. Hey, 15, we got it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, definitely consider to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell as well if you want. I would gladly appreciate it. And you can follow me on Twitch where I stream Clash Royale and Genshin Impact. First, I always start with Clash Royale for an hour and 30 minutes and then I switch to Genshin. And I usually stream from Monday to Friday on Twitch. So, hey, if you want to follow me on Twitch, uh, the link is going to be in the description down below. Have a great day, guys. Bye.